Dan Wilson because I've gotten to know him uh, just with playing uh, for the Mariners. He's been around and uh, he's an unbelievable guy. Like personality is more important than a, your athletic ability. That's like what was really intriguing about Dan, being able to be around him and just the way he went about his business and still to this day as an employee of the Mariners. He's a, one, of the, one of the best human beings I've been around. Uh, I would say I would see myself as playing anywhere. Like I played center field all my life, but like you put me in any spot and I know that I'm gonna be able to play right or left. So there isn't one that I get nervous about playing and that's just how I've been. Bryce Harper and Mike Trout, still to this day. Been fans of them ever since they came up through the minor leagues into the big leagues. And I still love watching both of them play to this day. Uh, Trout made his debut, I think, in 2012. Same with Bryce. I remember when Bryce hit his f first major league home run. I remember I woke up and I woke up early to check like ESPN and stuff like that. And I saw that he had hit his first major league home run. And I remember I came down in this living room right here and I sat and I watched the video of him hit his home run 20 times before I went to school. I would just watch him hit it, watch him run around the bases, rewind it. Hit the home run, run around the bases, rewind it. I'm in the weight room every single day, um, but whether I'm doing a lower or an upper, those are like three days a week, but I'm there every single day doing something core. Um, because your core is so important when it comes to baseball. And so, like, I always want to get my core activated, get it going. You know, a swing is such a violent motion. And when I go out to the game and I'm swinging as hard as I can, I don't want to tweak something in my core because I wasn't ready for it. So when I go into the weight room, I'm doing something that is activating my core, getting it, you know, working it a little bit, um, which that's a whole, that's a lot of different things. Um, but I'm usually always doing something core so that I'm ready. When you go to big league camp, you really, like for the first time, especially being a younger guy, I was only 20 years old, you have to be a sponge because you're in a locker room with guys that have been in the big leagues, 10, 15, 20 years in the big leagues. And so you kind of just sit and watch and watch them do what they do. What they do Cause obviously they've had success. I wasn't, I wasn't very vocal just because I was trying to learn as much as possible. Then you can kind of implement, well, you know, he might do something, he might do something and kind of find something that works for you. You see, you have this visualization when you're a young kid that like big league baseball is like a different world, right? You go and you sit and you watch the game and you're like, these guys are superhumans. And then not like not discrediting anyone by any means. But then when, like when you get when you're put you in those shoes and you're in the batter's box in a big league spring training game, it's no different than the game you've played your entire life. And so like that was something that surprised me as I was like, man, I I just like any other fan, I I would sit there and these guys are superhumans. I don't know how they do it. Well, it's the same game that I played when I was 13 years old. Milwaukee. I want to come home. I want to play here. Okay. I want to play against the Brewers. I grew up watching the Brewers. I, I love the city of Milwaukee. That's, that's always been a bucket list stadium of mine. If anything, I feel like it would be motivating to everyone. Um, you know, the Mariners have been in a pl playoff drought for the last 20 years. I just think that you look at the success those guys had, what it, they knew what it took to win. So if anything, it would be motivating. Getting stronger, obviously. Um, but staying fast too, like I want to steal more bases this year than I did two years ago. But also I was just working on some off-speed pitch stuff. Just because I'm going to get pitched a little bit differently when I get to the big leagues. 
and pitches or pitchers know how to locate every pitch. And I gotta be ready to hit all of those pitches. If they can, they're gonna try to get me out on them. I gotta be able to do damage on them.